What up, baby? I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Don't nobody deserve it more than you, man. Yo, you got this, baby. Sister Circle, you gonna kill that. And you deserve that and then some. Yes, baby. Do your thing. Ah, my tree. B. Ow. Yeah. Hey Trina, it's Latavia Roberson. I just wanted to say congratulations on your new spot at the Sister Circle. Welcome to the Circle, girl. I'm so proud of you. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, child. We almost got taken out. She's a no-nonsense judge whose Emmy-nominated series, Divorce Court, has served families facing divorce and, in many cases, total breakdown. And she's more than just a daytime host. She's also servicing her community, empowering women, at-risk youth, and advocating for those battling mental health issues. Please join us in welcoming Judge Lynn Toller. Yay! Toller. 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 Hi, Toller. Hi, how are you? So good to Thank see you. you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Judge Toller. Yeah. Child, we're so happy to have you down I'm to the I'm so circle. happy to be here. Just black excellence. Yes. And speaking of black excellence, one of the, the questions that we want to, well, that all of us want to know down to the circle is it's not a lot of black women in the, you know, in, in, in the judicial world. Mm -hmm. What kind of inspires you to get in that since there were not a lot of our faces in it? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't intend to do none of it. Okay. Wow. I went to college to be a physician. Mm. Got there. The math was too hard. Daddy said, okay, you stop learning. <laughs> I stopped paying, mm. so I, she said, go to law school. So I said, I went to law school, was a lawyer, uh, hated it. Mm. Uh, I had uh, six, uh, five kids and working hard, and someone said, hey, that judge over there is retiring. I was wow. a mad woman. I went and ran for the job at 33 and got it. Wow. So I just was kind of failing up backwards the whole way. Mm. Mm. So there, there was no, you know, I always hate telling that story because everybody wants to see some inspirational why I did it. And it really, I was, I was tired. But it is. <laughs> I mean, but it's inspiration because it says, you know what, no matter what was going on, God said you're going to be a judge. Yeah, exactly. put that six-month-old baby in that, every, went door to door, <laughs> knock, <laughs> knock, 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 went home, fed the other ones, you know. Mm. <laughs> you have to make a way. That's Absolutely. what you have to do. Well, Judge, as you grew into your career, was there a crack in the foundation of the judicial system that you were intent on changing? There wasn't one that I was intent on changing. There was one that I was able to address. Mm. My thing was I was doing too little too late as a judge. So when I was a judge, I started programs from young, for young men and young women mm -hmm. so they wouldn't have to see me in the first place. Because mm -hmm. by the yes. time they got to me, all the things that they needed to fix it was too late to fix them. Mm -hmm. So I spent 10 years mentoring young girls and I had a guy mentoring young men so they wouldn't have to come see me in the first right. place. Exactly. Oh, right, exactly. Right. Now your first book was called my Mother's Rules, A Practical Guide to Becoming an Emotional Genius. Ooh. What is the primary principle that you carry with you day to day from that book? The primary principle is this. Your emotions, are you feel far faster than you think. If a mm. lion oh. came in here, we wouldn't have to think, girl, a lion shouldn't be in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do about it? <laughs> what we would do, bam, oh, well. we'd be through the wall. So everybody responds to, to incoming emotionally before our higher reasoning ever gets the message. Mm. And my thing mm. is you have to train your brain to think when it wants to feel so you can do when, as opposed to fail. Right. Mm. Right. It's, it's everything. Yes. Yes. It's everything. Mm. And speaking of children and young men and women, Selena and I, we, we are both mothers of two sons. Mm -hmm. And you're a mother of six sons. I am. And six you boys. know the law inside and out, backwards right. and forwards. So what do you tell your sons, what would you tell anyone else with sons about safety in, mm -hmm. in, the, way, in the ship of the world today? Go loose, be obedient, mama get them later. Ooh. You know, I've had that phone call with one of my sons. Oh, wow. The, you know, he called the police. They, they, but I, it, uh, t tell them your mother's a judge. They don't care the judge. Yes, they do. Tell them your mother's the mm. judge. Put the, put the guy on the phone. Here's what we're going to do. You don't want to, da, 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 been there, done that. You go loose, you go, yes, you don't. My one son always wants to know, what are my rights? What are my rights? They said, you ain't got none. <laughs> Not uh. a one. I said, now nah, I'm going to handle it when it happens, and they're gonna have a problem with me, but on the street, you got nothing. 
because mm. I want your because I want your home. Exactly. No, that's right. And then exactly. I, I'll take care of it once you get there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we have got more with Judge Lynn Toller when we return. Yes. We don't play no games. No, not at all. You can't. You can't. With that nonsense, you a good sister. You don't need to do all of that. You need to be a better man, Mr. Miles. A much, much, much better man. Run on, run well. More power to you. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, oh, somebody. Oh, we are back with the woman who gives the people everything that she can give them. The Honorable <laughs> Judge Lynn Toller. My God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you just give them. You just don't have no mercy for the people. I don't have time to waste. And my mother used to say, when she looked at me one day, I was 16 leaving, she said, you know, if I didn't love you, I'd let you go out of the house looking like that. Mm -hmm. So if I love you, I got to tell you exactly, exactly what's up, and I only got 18 minutes in which to do it. So mm. I can't bit around the bus. Okay, so Judge, before you became um, divorce court uh, judge on, on television in 2006, mm -hmm. I'm sh well, I'm not sure, what is the difference between the judge that you were before divorce court and the judge that you are now? I have the same demeanor, which is why I think I ended up on divorce court, mm -hmm. because I'm loud and poppy and I want to talk and I want to examine and I'm this mm -hmm. and that, and I'm always extra and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm less uptight. My, mm. my husband used to call me the, the night stalker because I was putting people <laughs> in jail. <laughs> So I would be up walking around at night. Did I do the right thing? Did I do the right thing? I had a domestic violence case. Should I let him out? Mm. Should I put a blah, 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 mm. blah, 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 blah. So the stress is gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can just pontificate yes. and not worry about it. Yes, but I was jailing folk. <laughs> wow. But was they guilty? They was guilty. <laughs> they was guilty. But you have to do the right thing. Just putting a domestic violence guy in jail and then letting him back out. All he thinks is that B and that B, and then mm. goes hits her and not me. So I had to figure out mm. what to do with him when he got out. Half of his time, blah blah blah, had him on probation for a year. It was it was work to get it right because mm. I didn't want him home mad at him and me because mm. he can't hit me, but he can hit her. Wow. Mm. And it's been twenty seasons. Won't he do it? Holy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But what do you attribute to the show's longevity and your team working together to keep it new and fresh every season? I think everybody's interested in love. Everybody mm. wants to know about romance. Soap operas were on for years for a reason. Everybody wants to know that somebody's house is messier than theirs. And on divorce court, everybody's house is messy. Yes, and uh, I, think, I think we've kept it fresh is because we've morphed with the years. You know, mm. we used to spend a lot of time on the economics and the in the arbitration and don't nobody care. Mm. Right. No one cares. They want to know what I have to say about them. So we have new segments before your vows and save my marriage because people wanted me to give them my advice on how to get better as opposed to mm. who gets fluffy the dog. Mm. Well I wish we could keep you all day, child. I wish I could stay all <laughs> and we, day. And we are having such a great time with you. So check your local listings to see Judge Toler lay down the law on the new season of Divorce Court, which kicks off September 4th. And as always, the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Hello, somebody. Yes. Yeah.